Hello everybody, this is Mr. Uberduck back with another Redstone video, and I know it's been a while, and to be honest, I'm not going to lie and say that I have a good reason, because I really don't. One thing I'd just like to say, I did hit 500 subscribers in my abs absence, 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 500 subscribers, that may not seem like too many, considering PewDiePie has like 16 million or something, but to me, 500 is a lot, and I'm really grateful, thank you to all of you out there, enduring my videos every time I put them up. But yeah, let's see this thing in action, shall we? So I saw Fenoman 12's Cop Out Sissy Bar and decided it was a bit too big, and lo and behold, Cunic later came out with one that was even smaller. But I thought, you know, could be smaller, so I got to work. I decided the only way I was going to be able to make it smaller was to make it one wide, but I just couldn't find a way of getting the last retraction in on one of the sides. But then, one day, I found a way, and boom, I could make it one wide. So let's check this thing out. Pretty slow closing. Let me just check my volume. Should be about fine. There's a closing, so it looks like this. You can't actually get through in any way, shape, or form. So that's really good. Then if we flip the lever again, we can see it opens. Now, it's all very slow and not in sync at all, but it's one wide. So let's take a look at how I did this. I'm sure a lot of you who who are good at redstone are thinking, wait, how how did he get how did he get a final attraction in there? Well, let me show you. Tripwire to the rescue. Yes. Very simple design, but one thing I needed was tripwire and the lever's on the wrong side now. Let me get a new lever. Place it place it there. Break that one. So you can see basically what happens is I flick this lever and basic double extender happens on all of them where we have the back piston being fired two ticks after the front piston and that does basically half of the whole thing in a very easy step so I could do that on there there and then bring the signal down and do it on the bottom as well using a torch now for the tra retraction of this one all I had to do was get another two ticks later a pulse into the middle piston that was easy enough but now the hard bit. I had to get a signal into this middle block here between these two pistons to do the final retraction without budding it. Now if I just break that dust for a second, you can see what happens if I don't do that. We're left with this, and what do I do with this? You would think if I just got rid of this trip wire, there's no way of powering that because I can't put a repeater on the piston or anything. But I had I I thought of the trip wire and I'm actually pretty happy with myself because it's a good idea in my opinion. So all I had to do was get an entity, push it into the tripwire, and it would work. Now this thing comes in at 9 blocks tall by 13 blocks long, and 117 blocks in volume, which is a lot smaller than cuniculators that he uploaded the other day. But I do have an even smaller design, it just requires a bit more maintenance, so let me just show you that one. All we have to do is strip away this stuff down here like so so we're left with the bare minimum and this puts us back in the position we were in earlier where it doesn't make this final attraction and then this is where the clever bit comes in with the trip wire we place a torch not a piston place a torch there get a dropper place it upside down and fill it with items so string string will do whatever and now if we look still extends normally and then when we flick it again it fires an item we get a pulse and it retracts nicely now this is only 8 tall making it 104 blocks in volume which is 36 blocks smaller than cuniculators and this thing is just it's getting really tiny right now so that's about it as far as the video goes I guess this is also a tutorial let's take a look that redstone is not necessary uh, piston layout you need trip wires. One thing I'd like to say, uh, th this this trip wire having to be out here is a bit annoying. I wanted to find a way of firing an item across and down and being able to take this one more, but it didn't seem to work out for me. So alas, that did not happen. But yeah, this is my cop out sissy bar door. I believe is the correct name for it. It's 104 blocks in volume, or 117 if you want the slightly better version, because this will eventually run out. Yeah. So anyway, 
My name's been Mr. Uberduck. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.